Hello and welcome to Denslet, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human relationship with human and robots in the area of artificial intelligence and and many many more things like human sexuality, psychology, physiology and what not under the sun. In our previous videos we were talking about touch, how a human and robot can mimic human's touch or how it, it can respond to human touch. But before we proceed, let me tell you one thing which I say ritually in every video. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. Please keep support me, supporting me. And if you have subscribed, please keep supporting me by sharing these videos with your friends, talking about it, writing down your reactions, whether good or bad, bad or criticize me so that I can learn more, more, more and more from you. And what kind of content you are expecting in this context so that I can improve my channel with more information on human sexuality in the age of artificial intelligence. Now, as I said before, that whether it whether a human robot mimics a human touch or responds to a uh, human touch, Actually, it happens because of very advanced tactile technology. What is tactile technology? You know, we are laymen. We are not engineers, right? Keeping that in mind and having said that, I would like to say that tactile technologies is nothing but using soft, realistic skin-like materials. First of all, you need to, when you are going to build or create a robot, you need to find out how it how you will build the skin i will create the skin so that the touch especially because we are concerned about touch the touch will be more like human human like right so soft realistic skin like materials are needed this can make the touch feel more natural and less mechanical during the physically intimate acts not only physically intimate acts in every kind of comfort support or expressing uh, any kind of emotions. Second thing is temperature cool. The skin must be uh, like human skin. So human skin is uh, usually carries a temperature like uh, between 97, 98, 99 degree. Okay, below 100. So in that case, some robots can adjust their body temperature, adding another layer of realism to the touch experience and that makes a really sense because uh, temperature control is very important as long as skin is uh, concerned isn't it so multi-sensory feedback that is also important because there are a lot of sensors in a human robot and the job of sensors i will talk about them later in uh, great detail in other videos the role of the sensors are very vital. They take the feedback, they train the robot, and in return, they, the robot uh, behaves like a human. So multi-sensory feedback is important. Combining touch with other sensory cues like warmth, sounds, or even scents can create a more immersive and emotionally engaging experience. In fact, uh, everything when everything is put together, it makes a human robot looks and appear more human-like. So that it can mimic human touch, it can respond to human touch. Even this multi-sensory feedbacks train the robot to uh, how warm you are welcoming a robot, it can sense through the its sensors, right? Or even you are you used you have used a scent or perfume, it will take that perfume through its sensors, and uh, whether it, it likes it or dislikes it, it will tell you. It will, uh, or it will uh, through its gestures or facial expressions, it will. Uh, show its discomfort or comfort, whatever uh, it comes to its uh, 
processor, central processing unit. So, tactile technology is nothing but this kind of things. First of all, skin, second thing is temperature com control and the third and final thing is multi-sensory feedback so that it can take the feedback and according to that feedback, it will react. I hope you enjoy this video. You get some more information about Humanoid Robot. And here I am to give you uh, more and more information regarding this. So, uh, stay tuned. Keep watching. Keep supporting Udenslet. And in the next video, we'll meet again. Till then, goodbye. Stay safe and take care.